Welcome back to Beauty Health Austin on this Asia Web. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup of products that I never tried in my life. Um, if you don't know, I'm subscribed to Ipsy, which is basically a monthly subscription that is $10 a month that you get um, small sample size of products that they send to your doorstep. So I've been subscribed to Ipsy for about um, almost a year now. And I just got my July MC bag, so I thought, why not film this video? And also, I saw Lisette post a video like this, like, a couple of days ago. And it just made me really expired because I don't like to switch up my makeup. My room sounds like it's echoing because it's kind of empty in here. Well, it's not empty, but I don't have as much stuff in here because, you know, getting ready to move out for college. But, um, besides the point, um, I'm, Lisette also inspired me to do this video because I... Due to Ipsy, I have accumulated a tons of tons of makeup that I have not even ever used nor tried. So I thought, why not today just try that? And plus, I recently went and bought some makeup. So I thought, why not also try that as well? So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video is trying to full face a makeup. And yeah, before we drop into this video, don't forget to follow me on my social medias. My Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat will all be linked down below with the handlebars if you want to follow me to get a scoop on the inside of my life. And also because I recently just filmed the Instagram followers, my Instagram followers control a day in my life. And maybe you missed out on participating because you wasn't, you know, following me on Instagram. So don't forget to follow me on my social medias because I am very active up there and I try to get involved with you guys. And if you are, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so you can so I can know what content that you guys like and what content that you guys want me to continue to make and push for. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. I put up. I promise you, it's a hundred percent free. Just go ahead and subscribe down below. It's that big red button you don't want to miss out. And if you are subscribed today, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a new video because I post every Sunday and Wednesday. But sometimes I might have tough technical issues and you might miss out if you're not you know notified so yeah that's all i have to say before we jump right into the video so let's hop right into it okay so as you guys can see my eyebrows is already done i keep trying to do a brow routine but i haven't got around to it so yeah but i did do a little instagram live of me filling in my brows so you might want to follow me on my Instagram. It's simply dot forever Asia. If if you don't feel like typing it, it's in the description box down below. But I did a do, do a little live, and so yeah, in just in case you're missing out. So I already did my eyebrows. So today in my Ipsy bag, I got this little eyebrow tint thing. Um, this is the La Beauté Fatale Brow Fix Tint and Shaper in the shade shade 5 dark brunette brunette and i'm going to try this on um, um to um you know go over my brows that is already filled in even though i'm like not brunette but hey it might work might be able to hold these brows down So we have that done. Uh, hopefully this is going to tame my brows and keep my brows down because whew, what I be using be keeping my brows down all day and I don't have to worry about nothing so that gets really nice. And I'm sorry if you see me looking down like my mirror is right here and then all my makeup stuff is right here so I'm grabbing for um, one of my primers that I got sent a long time ago. So today I'm going to try the MAC, the MAC Prep and Prime primer so yeah i heard really good things about this primer so hopefully oh my god that was not trying to get that much primer out it just like squirted out guys so i'm just used what's on my hands that already squirted out i usually don't use a lot of primer primer and typically i use the elf poreless putty primer every time i do my makeup but So that's done. I'm going to go in for foundation with the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup in the shade Cool um, Nut Brown C7. 
and then I'm going in with this shade Coco C8 because this is too light and this is too dark so I'm thinking maybe um, mixing them together would give me some oomph and that's the um, way that I can like mix them together the only thing I hate about this about this is that it's um it's no pump or nothing so I'm just gonna use my finger hopefully it doesn't like dry down or anything I should have got a little like um makeup wipe or something or like a brush but I'm just gonna mix them together because I feel like this shade might be a little bit too dark and I'm gonna put the lighter colors like more on the inside and mix it so So this is what the foundation is looking like. I will prefer a little bit more coverage. I, I could see still see a lot of my spots. So yeah. Not the biggest fan. It could be because I'm not used to like using foundation like this. But I think that maybe I could use a little bit more of this color. But whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and move into the concealer. So concealer is tricky for me. Like, because I want to try this concealer, but I tried it before, and it always gives me flashbacks. So I don't know what kind of concealer I want to use, because I kind of want to use, like, a heavy, like, a little thick concealer, but not also at the same time a thick concealer. So, like, I'm debating, because I have a lot of, I kind of have a lot of concealers, but then at the same time, I don't have a lot of concealers. So, I think I'm going to just, for concealer, I'm just going to go ahead because I don't have that many options. I'm just going to go use my Queen Latifah Carberry Girl Golden um, Concealer in the shade Golden. And I already used this concealer before, so I'm kind of cheating, but whatever. It works. It's actually my shade and works. And I know I'm not going to get um a ton of flashback, so I'm not stressing it. <laughs> Okay, so I want it to be a little brighter. It's just like kind of dull and you know, not nothing is sticking out. So I am going to go in with um, some of my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee because I'm just not getting that, um, that brightening effect that I like. So I'm just putting it towards the inner corner, like right here, so I can get that brightening effect that I want. Okay, so now that we have that set, um, the, that blended out, I'm going to go in and set my makeup. Usually I will use the True Complexion Loose Setting Powder, but I'm actually going to switch it up and use my Aerospawn Loose Face Powder in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. I really don't like this powder when I first used it. It was just like, it was just like, uh, looked like it was giving me flashbacks, so I just stopped using it. So I'm going to use it today. Cause, you know sometimes it's just like the way you use stuff so what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna bake I'm just gonna press the powder in there just lightly press the powder in there see like you see how I don't know if you can tell on the camera but it seems like it's giving me like this smallest of a white cast and I really don't like that Hopefully, there's no flashback. I didn't bake because I felt like baking would have given me flashback. I'm going to go in with this big fluffy brush from Farrah. It, it doesn't have a brush number, but it looks like this. It's big and fluffy. I'm going in with this shade 35 Deep by um, Maybe, Maybelline in the loose, um, loose Finishing Powder. And I'm just going to put this all over my face. <laughs> Now 
that I have that set, I'm going to do some bronzer. And for bronzer, I like to use, I have this like little. I'm so sorry, my camera caught off, so hopefully um, y'all got that. But I'm using this Naked Cosmetics Loose Powder in this shade. Naturally new is. And I, oh. Ooh. Ooh, did not mean to get that on my face. It's really pretty, and I'm just kind of doing like a little subtle half cup crease with it. It's really gorgeous. Really gorgeous shade, and it's very easy, easy to blend up the color. <laughs> Now I'm done with that. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this freaking mistake off my face. I think I can. That's one. Okay. Hopefully that did a little something, something. I'm hoping it did a little something, something. So kind of got it all for a little bit. So I'm gonna go back in with that um, crease color just to blend out the crease some more and to add some color to that outer, sh that outer um, the outer corner too. I'm just gonna, you know, like circle it up there and just throw it up there. I really like that. That was such a nice little color. I feel like. This eye has a lot more color than that eye, so I'm going to go in and add just a teeny bit more. Okay. Now we're good on that. See, it looks... I like it. It looks really, really pretty. I'm not going to um, do any liner. I'm just going to leave it. So, what's after that? After that is mascara i'm going to put on lashes but i'm going to use the benefit roller lash mascara um so yeah let's put that on first <laughs> hmm. i like this mascara it's like really giving my lashes some definition and that's really hard for my lashes to get from a mascara, it's really doing it. Kind of late on the height on the roller lash, but that's what it looks like just with out lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes off camera, and then I'm gonna come back to you guys. So I'd be back. Okay, guys. So I'm back with my lashes on. This is what they look like. I kind of messed up just a little bit, but. Ain't nothing major. Just like I have a little black dot. But so I'm gonna go in with that same mascara that I was using earlier, and I'm gonna put that in on my bottom lashes. Okay. So I'm done with that. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face. I don't have any new setting sprays, so I'm just gonna spray my face with the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Set Pro Spray Insect. <laughs> If you okay, a pro tip if you want your makeup to melt together, go in with the bottom of your beauty blender and go ahead and melt it together. So now that I have that done, I'm gonna put on highlighter. I'm gonna try this new highlighter from Wet n Wild that was set in my Ipsy is called Crown of My Canopy. So I'm gonna try this highlighter today. Hopefully I like it. I'll take the sticker off. This is what it looks like. It's so freaking gorgeous guys. Like just look at it. Just look at it. Well I don't want to focus, but look at it. Okay. Woo. So, I'm going to go in with my little highlighting brush. This is the 
this brush is called the Slim Slim Missing Glam L36. I think that's what it's called. I'm just take this. I don't know how much of it is gonna go, so I'm just gonna do this. See what it looks like. Oh, she is gorgeous, guys. Look at that. She is gorgeous. Go on a little more heavy handed now that I know what it looks like. She's gorgeous. I can see myself wearing this a lot. She's gorgeous. Just gonna circle it. Concentrate it right there. She is gorgeous. Right there on my nose. Snatch the nose, notch the lip a little bit up here. Alright. And then to do an inner corner highlight, I'm gonna use the base color from that um from what we what we used it earlier. I need to find another brush. I need another brush, guys. I need to clean my brushes. So I'm just going in with that base color and I'm just gonna put that in the in the corner. It's just a neutral like beige looking color. So that's gonna be really good for highlighting the inner corner. I just want it to be brighter. I don't know where my card left off because my I, um memory on my card got full on my camera. So this is what we have going on so far. And I'm finna choose another lip color because other lip colors I didn't like. This right here I tried new lip colors but I didn't like them so this right here that I'm using is going to be the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid in the color 40 Berry Burst. I used this before so I know what it looks like on me. I think it looks really, really pretty. It's a nice, like, kind of pink. <laughs> I think this is going to be the completed, completed look. I'm going to do my going to go do my hair and then I'm going to come back and I'll hit you with some of that video footage. So, oh, I'll come back after I have to do my hair and instead of showing you video footage, showing if this is um of course that what I'm looking for, um flash flashback proof because, you know, I want to see if it looks good, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back. Got the phone, and let's do these flash tests. I don't know if you can see, but there is literally no freaking flashback. Let me put it on my face. There's no freaking flashback. Let me turn my brightness down too soon be easier for y'all to see no freaking flashback let's do one more clearly no freaking flashback it was bad but no flashback so this is the look I might go and add a little bit more highlighter, but I personally, I personally really like it, and I'm feeling myself. Oh, and the hair is just in a little bun. It is our slate. So I want to say thank you everyone who watched this video of me trying out new makeup that I bought, and I really didn't think this was gonna be a really good makeup look, but it turned out to look really, really good. So I'm gonna do some Snapchats and some Insta videos and some boomerangs. Why I'm looking and feeling really, really good about myself. So, I see y'all in the next video. I love you guys all the, all the way to the moon and back. And stay positive. Ma, love you.